Let's talk about the benefits of selenium. We're gonna talk about 12 benefits. Selenium is a trace mineral, extremely, extremely powerful as an antioxidant. It's involved in a lot of different enzymes as a helper mineral. That's called a cofactor. Its main job as an antioxidant is to protect against oxidative damage. So it's really good for any type of chronic health problem, reducing the complications of chronic issues like diabetes, autoimmune, um, conditions where there's inflammation. It helps to buffer that. So number one, it actually helps make something called glutathione, which is the most powerful antioxidant in your body, especially in the liver. Number two, oxidative stress reduction. So it reduces the free radicals in the body that create a lot of damage. And that's why it has some pretty powerful anti-cancer effects. Because if you can protect the DNA damage in your mitochondria, in the nucleus of the cell, you can actually counter the effects of carcinogens and their effect on different parts of your body. Carcinogens are things that cause or trigger cancer. Number three, selenium is required for the conversion of T4 to T3. So it's very important in getting your thyroid to work correctly, especially in Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune hypothyroid condition. It's just as important for the thyroid as iodine, if not more important. And by the way, 90% of hypothyroid conditions are autoimmune. All right, number four, it reduces complications of certain diseases. For example, uh, diabetes, peripheral neuropathy, cataracts, anything that's producing a lot of free radical damage it can help counter the effects of that. I already mentioned this, anti-cancer, anti-tumor effects, and I will put uh, some of the research down below. Uh, seven, alcohol-related liver disease. If you have cirrhosis in the liver or a fatty liver and you have a lot of oxidation, you wanna take selenium. Also, number eight, arsenic poisoning. Take selenium for that as well. Number nine, autoimmune, I mentioned that. It can significantly reduce something called thyroid peroxidase antibodies, as well as hydrogen peroxide, which generates a lot of free radicals. You wanna use selenium as the main antioxidant. Now realize the RDAs for selenium are 55 micrograms, okay? Not milligrams, micrograms. But the therapeutic dosage that you would want to take if you had any of these conditions right here would be 200 micrograms. Now, are there any toxic effects of selenium? Yes, if you take way too much, like if you take lots of grams of this product, you can have certain health problems that are related to digestion, heart, cognitive function, but it's very unlikely you're gonna overdose from that. Uh, especially if you're getting it from a supplement because supplements usually come in micrograms, not milligrams. All right, number 10, benign prostatic hypertrophy, enlarged prostate. Selenium is good for that. 11, diabetes, prediabetes, insulin resistance. Number 12, it has the ability to detoxify mercury. So if you're consuming fish um, that has mercury, fish normally also has selenium. But really, the negative effects of mercury have to do with blocking the antioxidant with selenium. So if you have enough selenium, you're not going to have near the side effects from mercury. Now, the type of selenium you would want to get for any of these conditions would be selenomethionine. This is the one I would recommend taking if you wanted to counter some of these effects right here. Now, what about Brazil nuts? The problem with Brazil nuts is, yes, they have probably more selenium than any other food, but they are also very, very high in phytic acid, which blocks selenium. So if you're gonna take Brazil nuts, you wanna make sure that you soak them in water overnight, dry them out, and it's called germination, to get rid of this phytic acid so you can get the benefit from selenium. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the relationship between selenium and mercury when you eat fish, I put it right here. Check it out.